In this rapidly evolving technology landscape, where the world is inundated with huge volumes of data daily, the increasing demand for harnessing the true potential of data has become a paramount challenge for businesses across the globe. Data science has been the hotcake in the IT industry for nearly a decade now. And one of the standout skills necessary to be a good data scientist is being able to retrieve and work with data efficiently. And to do that, you need to be well versed in SQL, the standard language for communicating with database systems. Now, SQL may appear simple on the surface, but beneath its elegant simplicity lies a robust language that empowers data scientists to extract invaluable insights from vast datasets. From startups to MNCs, SQL plays a pivotal role in diverse domains from marketing and finance to healthcare and automation. SQL's widespread industry adoption ensures its relevance and opens up a plethora of career opportunities for professionals skilled in the ever-evolving landscape of data science. SQL remains a foundational tool that enables data scientists to unlock the true potential of data and derive meaningful outcomes, and learning it will add great value to your array of skills. On that note, hello everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. In today's video, you will gain expertise on why you should be learning SQL for effectively communicating and extracting data from databases, which is a prerequisite for anyone working in the field of data science. So without any further ado, let's get started. Firstly, let us understand what is SQL. Now, SQL is a programming language designed for managing and manipulating relational databases. It serves as a standard way to interact with databases, allowing users to retrieve, insert, update and delete data efficiently. SQL provides a logical and structured approach to organizing and accessing information stored in tables using commands such as insert, update, modify and delete. It basically enables users to define relationship between tables, create complex queries and perform various data operations. It is widely used in web development, data analysis and database management, making it a fundamental tool for handling structured data efficiently. But now comes the main question, why should you learn SQL? Now, SQL plays an important role for managing databases and one of the main reasons is it is used to access and manipulate data present in the databases using SQL queries. Now, some of the main reasons why you should be learning SQL is it retrieves specific data efficiently. Now, SQL allows you to retrieve specific data from databases efficiently. With SQL queries, you can extract relevant information from large data sets based on specific criteria such as filtering by conditions, sorting and aggregating data. So this capability is crucial for data analysis and decision making process. Secondly, powerful tool for data manipulation. Now SQL provides powerful tools for manipulating data. You can perform operations like inserting, updating, deletion, as well as altering table data and its structure. SQL's data manipulation capabilities enable you to transform and modify data according to your needs, ensuring data accuracy and integrity. Now it is instrumental in data integration. Now, SQL plays an important role in data integration where you need to integrate data from multiple sources. So by using, let's say, SQL joins, you can combine data from different tables or databases based on common fields. This allows you to create comprehensive data sets for analysis, reporting, and decision making. And finally, aggregation and summarizing data easily. Now, SQL enables you to aggregate and summarize data easily. With SQL's aggregate functions, you can calculate metrics such as sum, average, maximum, minimum, and count with its simple syntax. So aggregating data allows you to gain insights and understand trends at a higher level facilitating effective analysis and reporting. Now that we have understood what is SQL, let us have a quick introduction to what is data science now. Now data science is a field that combines statistical analysis, machine learning and programming to extract insights, make predictions and solve complex problems using data. It involves collective cleaning and analyzing vast amounts of structured and unstructured data to uncover patterns to derive actionable insights. Now, data science has been rapidly growing and has gained importance due to the exponential growth of data and advancement in computing power and technology. It will be integrated into core business processes, enabling real-time decision making, personalized experiences and improve operational efficiency. And it is likely to be approached in various sectors like marketing, finance, supply chain, automation, customer service, transport and much more. So let us now understand what is the importance of SQL in data science. Now the first reason is efficient data retrieval and manipulation. Now SQL is designed specifically for managing and querying structured data in relational databases. It provides a powerful set of commands and functions that enable data scientists to retrieve, filter, aggregate and manipulate large volumes of data efficiently. 
Seamless integration with databases. Now, SQL is a standard language for interacting with relational databases. Most organizations store their data in databases such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, or SQL Server. So being proficient in SQL allows data scientists to seamlessly connect to these databases, extract data, perform complex queries, and integrate results into their data science workflows. So SQL acts as a bridge between data stored in databases and the analytical tools and algorithms used in data science. Next, data exploration and analysis. Now, SQL provides powerful capabilities for exploring and analyzing data. Data scientists can use SQL queries to investigate relationships between different variables, identify patterns, summarize data, calculate statistical methods, and create derived tables. So with SQL, data scientists can perform any kind of analysis, generate summary statistics, and gain insights into underlying data structures, which is crucial for understanding the data before applying more analytical techniques. And finally, database performance and efficiency. Now, SQL is designed to optimize data retrieval and manipulation operations. Relational databases are built to handle large volumes of structured data efficiently and SQL queries are optimized for execution. Now, data scientists can leverage the indexing and query optimization capabilities of databases to improve the performance of their data operations. So these are some of the main reasons why you should be learning SQL in data science. So let us now discuss some of the SQL skills that you need to master in order to apply them in data science. Now, firstly, having a good knowledge on relational database models. Now we know the field of data science focuses on studying and analyzing data. To effectively analyze the data, it is necessary to extract them from the database. And for data scientists, having a solid understanding of how RDBMS and SQL works is certainly valuable as it remains a prevalent and important technology. Now, RDMS is basically a type of database management system that organizes and stores data in a structured manner using tables, columns, and rows. So, SQL is the standard language which is used to interact with these RDBMS and perform various operations like querying and much more. So, having a broader knowledge on RDBMS data model is important for data scientists. Secondly, having a good knowledge on SQL query commands. Now, SQL commands are basically the backbone of querying the databases, right? So having a knowledge on various uh, query commands such as DDL, which is help to define the data structure or schema, or even DML, which, which allows user to modify the database instantly by inserting, modifying, deleting data, and data control language, which gives access to the data stored in the database by granting and revoking permissions. And finally, transaction control language, which commands deal with the transactions within the database. So having a good understanding of all these SQL commands, which allow data scientists to effectively retrieve, manipulate, define, and control data in relational database management systems. Next, having a good knowledge on table constraints. Now, there are various table constraints which are imposed on the table. Now, constraints are basically a set of rules imposed on the tables of relational databases, which helps in maintaining the accuracy, integrity, and reliability of a database. Now, we have different types of constraints, for example, not null, foreign key, default, unique, primary key, and check. So, these are a few examples of table constraints in SQL, which improves query performance by creating an index on a column or set of columns. So, understanding and utilizing these constraints appropriately can help maintain data consistency and improve the reliability of database operations in data science tasks. Moving ahead, you have to have a good knowledge on various SQL key constraints as well. Now we have various SQL keys, which is an attribute or set of attributes which help you to identify a unique row in a table. So SQL keys basically establish relationship between multiple tables in our databases. So having a good knowledge on various keys like primary key, candidate key, super key, and foreign key is a must for a data scientist. Moving ahead, having a good knowledge on SQL aggregation and join operations. Now, as a data scientist, you have to learn about table relationships and how to use joins to combine data from multiple tables. So, first let us understand what is aggregate functions. Now, aggregate function in SQL is performed on a calculation on multiple values and returns a single value. So, you have to explore various aggregate functions like sum, count, average, max, and minimum and understand how to group the data using a group by clause and apply aggregate functions to calculate summary statistics on group data. Also, as discussed, you have to have a good knowledge on joint functions where you need to combine data from multiple tables. So understand different types of joins such as inner join, left join, right join, and full join. Now, in order to practice writing these queries that table joins based on common columns, 
you have to have a good knowledge on SQL join functions which is used to join one or more tables. Moving ahead, having a good knowledge on SQL clauses and functions. Now clauses are inbuilt SQL functions which are used to filter and analyze data quickly which in turn reduces the complexity of a query. So having a good knowledge on various clauses in SQL can surely help data scientists in order to minimize their workflow and work on various complex queries. So you have to have a good knowledge on various clauses like where which is used to filter records in the database, order by clause which sorts the data either in ascending or descending order, group by clause which is used to group identical data in order to obtain summarized database results with aggregation methods. Next we have having clause which filters the rows where aggregate function meets the specified conditions that we have given to the query. Next having a good knowledge on limit clause which is used to limit the number of results from the query and finally destined clause which discards the rows with duplicate values and also familiarize yourself with various window functions which allows you to perform calculations learn how to use functions like a row number rank to perform database operations on order subsets of data so practice using window functions to solve complex analytical problems as well moving ahead having a strong knowledge on sql views and indexing SQL views and indexing are crucial aspects of data science when it comes to efficient data access and analysis. So what is an SQL view? So SQL view is a virtual table derived from one or more existing table in a database. So it is created based on a query and behaves like a regular table but its data is not physically stored. Views help data scientists simplify the queries by abstracting the underlying complexity. So instead of writing complex joins and aggregations repeatedly, they can create a view that will encapsulate the necessary logic. This allows for more concise and readable queries, reducing the potential for any errors. And also having a good indexing strategy will help retrieve database data quickly by providing a lookup mechanism and helps a faster data recovery. So when a query includes a condition on an indexed column, the database engine can use the index to locate the relevant data rows directly instead of scanning the entire table. So which in turn will improve the search efficiency. So this significantly speeds up query execution, especially for large tables. And finally, subqueries and CT. Now SQL subquery and co common table expressions are powerful features that data scientists can utilize for advanced data analysis and manipulation. Now SQL query, which is also known as a nested query, is a query embedded within another query. It allows data scientists to perform complex operations by using the results of one query as an input for another. On the other hand, we have common table expressions, which is a temporary named result set that can be referenced with a SQL statement. So it allows data scientists to create complex queries by breaking them into smaller and more readable parts. So these are some of the main SQL skills that you need to master for a data science role. I hope you understood them clearly. And with that, we have come to the end of today's session guys. By mastering all these SQL skills, data scientists can effectively retrieve, manipulate and analyze data stored in complex relational databases and perform operations, optimize their performance and integrate SQL with their data science workflows. These skills are essential for data scientists to work with structured data and derive valuable insights on a daily basis. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you found this tutorial informative and helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any further queries regarding any of the concepts covered in this tutorial, feel free to rest in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, keep learning and get ahead. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.